My name is Pam Sherritt and I'm the Sports Turf Specialist at Ohio State. Um, I started this project when I started the class immediately because I, my philosophy is that students learn when they do something. So I wanted to give them a hands-on experience to actually do something in class. And then the other side of that is I feel like they're giving something back to the community. So uh, I've had students that graduated five, six, seven, eight, nine years ago that have told me when they've seen me that this is the class that they remember most. They remember going out and doing something. They remember working with these schools, uh, getting to know the baseball coaches. I've even had students who've graduated and then gone on and got jobs and then they've actually gone back and helped their high schools uh, renovate their baseball fields. Uh, so I hear all kinds of stories like that. I think uh, it's important for these students to feel that community interaction and, and to get their hands dirty sometimes. So I reached out to Ohio State. Uh, Mike Bame two years ago came over and helped us with our field. We laid sod, taught some of our players how to how to go through the process of maintaining the field, laying sod, making sure things were leveled. So when I reached out to him again this year and asked if uh, there might be an opportunity to help out Ohio State and work, you know, kind of work together to promote field maintenance, he suggested I reach out to uh, Pam Sherritt and that she had a class that she taught and they might need a field for, you know, for to utilize for their for their work and try to use it as their field experience. So it kind of worked out well in the sense that we're located close to Ohio State and kind of partner together and try to help the kids learn how to work on a field and then also my guys get a chance to watch and, and also learn the opportunities at Ohio State in terms of field maintenance. Here, a lot of wear here. Depending on the style of pitcher, you'll see guys like it and they'll follow through and land like this. So sometimes you'll see a line just to save on the material because it's expensive down and this will be your landing area with packing clay and then you kind of fan it out a little bit right down here like this um, and then that just gives a little extra protection down here pack that a little tighter hi uh, matt williams with oardc research operations at ohio state and we're out here at the upper arlington high school baseball field uh, working on a project that we have worked on. This is our 11th year going out into the community and helping local high schools uh, renovate their baseball fields. Uh, we spent the afternoon uh, checking out the baseball field, checking the measurements. We confirmed that this pitch and mound is uh, 10 inches, which is regulation, and it's 60 feet 6 inches from home plate. Uh, we've patched the mound with some packing clay, and uh, um, we're currently just dressing it up with some calcined clay material that was donated to us by Turfus. Um, Amy here, uh, a sophomore turfgrass science student, is uh, just, we, we sprinkled some of the turfus on the, on the mound and she's just slowly evening it out and we're going to dress it up and make it look nice. Um, we're putting this dressing on here uh, to control moisture within the mound, uh, to provide traction for the athletes when they're using the field and uh, generally have a nice cleaner look than just exposed dirt. Um, and uh, once we get this down, we'll use some brooms to clean it up and make sure it's nice and even and level, and then we'll be done. Amy Wilbur, I'm a turfgrass science major in my second year at Ohio State University. I found this project restoring Upper Arlington's baseball field really interesting because I got practical experience, which I can use later in my career, and we also got to give back to the Columbus community. I am Bo Turkbrad. I'm a sports industry major, third year. Uh, it's great to come out to Upper Arlington and go over the dimensions of an actual mound just because I've worked in sports, I've been around sports all of my life. I don't really look at it from an analytical perspective, so it was great to come out here and give them uh, a mound, I guess that's regulation. 